David's up. He says, I may not make it to Hump Day Hangouts, but hopefully you'll answer the following. Are there indications that Google search doesn't or won't return page one results for certain keywords niches? In particular, well, there, there's always a page one result for certain keywords. Uh, I mean, it doesn't start on page two, so I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, in particular, is there any reason an optimized... Oh, you must be talking specifically about a, a video. Okay. In particular, is there any reason an optimized branded remodeling contractor video wouldn't lead to high SERPs? Based on cursory research, I don't see videos ranking for major U.S. cities using common niche-related keywords. Um, if the if the branded if the company's brand name, right, the company name is like a keyword, which happens, guys, right? I mean, when I first started doing lead gen stuff years ago. I would create all my pseudo, right, my, my pseudo businesses, and I'm doing air quotes, as like the most obvious name period, right? Like, you know, like I'll just say tree service or Culpepper tree service, right? I'll say that. Like I live in Culpepper. So I call it Cul Culpepper or Culpepper plumbers. You know what I mean? Like think about that. that and so if, if that's the brand name, then yeah, because basically your brand name is a keyword search, that means it's, it's likely going to be difficult to rank. Um, especially like in major metropolitan areas, guys, like broad type keywords are difficult to rank videos for and higher where, where, where there's a lot of competition. Now, uh, but a brand name search, if you're optimizing the video for the brand name of the company and it's not some generic like keyword type brand name, then it should rank well. Um, again, it should rank well. But uh, you're talking about a YouTube video. And so as far as, you know, I found that when you optimize for the brand name of a company, it, you can typically rank for that unless, of course, your brand name is essentially a keyword, in which case then you're going to have trouble. Does that make sense? I'm not sure if um, – yeah, does anybody it, else have another it, explanation for that? No, it, it makes perfect sense. Google filters certain niches. I mean, we did a test for payday loan. And we, we ranked the video on the first page, and it disappeared within 30 seconds. That's how quick the, the, the filter is on that, the algorithm. That, you know, that, that's how quickly it gets removed from search results. So although it got to the first page, it immediately disappeared. It was filtered out. There are, there are some niches that you cannot get a video rank, period. Yeah. Yeah. I've had – uh, we talked about um, – again, one of our members – I'm not going to mention who it is, but one of our members um, – was talking about getting like doing realtor marketing stuff, real estate marketing. And I did that for, I don't know, six months or so for, I, I targeted a bunch of realtors in here in Virginia and um, I started doing marketing for them. And I found that to be incredibly difficult to rank videos for keywords like real estate videos. Like I, I, that's what I started with was trying to rank videos. And then I eventually switched to doing, uh, you know, more traditional website stuff because the videos, no matter, I mean, I would hit it like, I would basically nuke it with everything we had and we I would be able to get the video to rank on page one for the keyword for you know my desired keyword. It would last like a day or two and it would always bounce back to page two. And I could like it's like it's like Google was just as soon as it got to page one, it might last twenty four hours and then it would always push back to position eleven or twelve. So it was always going back to page two. And that's when I realized that those there are keywords out there that Google just won't show video for. Um, and I think it was Derek, uh, Derek Pierce that had a, did a training a long time ago about this and it made a lot of sense. And I don't know if this is valid, but I trust him. Um, so I think that it, it probably is, but if you do like a search query, like, let's just say plumber, Culpepper, you guys are seeing my full screen, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So if you, if you do a search for a keyword guys and you look up here, the vertical search buttons, if you don't see, if you see a video tab up here, granted the video tab is under the more tab here, but if you do a search and you see the video tab, not in this, the drop down, but actually over here, I was, you know, it, it's my understanding. And I've seen that to, I've, I've experienced that to be the case most of the time. If there's a video tab instead of in the drop down, then it's likely that a video can rank for that search query on page one. But if the video tab is in the dropdown, then it's likely that it's going to be much more difficult to rank a video on page one for that specific query. Does that make sense? Now, I, I haven't confirmed whether that's 100% of the time, like that's a law, or if that's just, you know, uh, something that's been more coincidental. 
but I've noticed that a lot. That's something that I do when I'm looking to see if I can rank a video for a particular keyword. Obviously, I use a ton of testing tools now, like Live Rank Sniper or something like that. But um, I, one of the things I always do is take a look, just do a quick manual search and look. And if it has video tab up here, then I think there's a greater chance. Again, I don't have any data to back it up, guys, other than just from what I've experienced. Does that make sense? So anyways, good question again, David.